trains away. That's fine. I must get bored. Welcome back to the channel. So it is currently six o'clock on a Thursday. I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for the next few days or so because I'm moving into my assessment block. I thought I'd film this video to bring you guys along the next few days as I study for my upcoming exams. I have a religion test tomorrow, um, which I've been studying really, really hard for, which is why I'm filming, like, film, starting this video on a Thursday on the day before. I have a maths test on Monday and a PDE test, topic test on Wednesday. Um, and in that week as well, with those assessments, I'm going to be starting my other assessments that are due the week after, which is like English and my commerce assessment tasks. All right, let's get started with our religion. Which traditions compel challenges and inevitable changes, all of which shape and stance in society and encourages believers to pursue their We are one hour in and the sun has set. And therefore constitutes the church's global expansion. And therefore constitutes the church's global expansion. Okay, it's currently 8.15. It's been about two hours since I've started and I've memorized two paragraphs, roughly. I'm a bit tired, so memorizing's been a bit slow, um, but I just have my conclusion left, which is another 120 words. I'm gonna try remember the last two paragraphs that I just did um, a bit better um, when I come back, but I'm going to eat because I want to have dinner. I have a little bit of a headache. I'm a bit, and I'm tired because I slept late last night. Um, so I'm gonna eat, get a little bit of energy, and then push for a, a good, maybe two or more hours. response in my book. I'm doing all right. There are a few little gaps here and there, but I, I'm like really tired, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. I think I'll be okay. I went through my um, essay on my document and I highlighted all of the sentence starters that, sentence starters of the sentences that I was forgetting, if that makes sense. So that way I can just read those memorize those and I'll be able to memorize the rest of the sentence okay we'll see you guys tomorrow That exam went a lot better than I thought it would. And I was just really scared that I'd forget something important or I'd forget one of my quotes because I could, you know, mess up my entire meaning of the essay. I memorized everything virtually, but there was only like four words in the conclusion that I forgot. 
but I was able to, you know, just pick it up on the spot, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's good to have one less thing to worry about. I've just got my other assessments in the next week. So there's a lot of things still up and coming, but I am relieved because this is one of the harder essays that I've done, um, especially for term one. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things went and I will see you guys on the weekend. Getting outside because of this one. Burger number two. It's a kid, a kid's chicken burger. Is that it? Alright, um, I'm back from going out. Going to study for my math exam. Gonna make some keynotes on the topics that I'm unsure of. The indices laws I was struggling with just a little. Like I get it but I don't want to be unsure of myself in a test and then we'll see how we go on from there. Ten on a Sunday. Um, I'm gonna eat, and I'll start at five thirty, and we'll just hope for the best. about 7.30. I want to do about two more tests. I've done one, two, three tests so far. And then I'll do my PDE, which should take about an hour, even less maybe. And then move on to another assessment that I have. Today's math exam. <laughs> it was it was okay. I think I did pretty well, but um, I did forget a few things, which I'm really mad that I forgot about them because they were like a good four questions related to measurement, and I forgot to put units. So there was one question that got like pretty much the whole class stumped. I did the question three times. I did it right. I got the answer, which was x squared. But I don't know if it's right. I talked to a bunch of other people and they got x squared as well. But apparently that it's not x squared. So I don't know anymore. But speaking of results, on Wednesday I'm going to be getting my science practical exam results back. So I'll tell you guys how I go on that as well. But yeah, I'm just going to be studying for PDE today. I just need to be finishing my responses and remembering them. I will see you guys tomorrow on Tuesday.
have adobo and rice with some seaweed and then some ramen noodles because I've been wanting more. <laughs> I finished memorizing my PDE. So after tomorrow, which I do my PDE assessment and get my science marks back, which I'll try to show you guys, I have a long weekend, which I'll be studying for my English assessment and my commerce assessment. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Wednesday. I got my science marks back. I got a 39 out of 44, but I argued for it and I got a 40 out of 44. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with my mark. I could have gone better, but yeah. Oh yeah, and my PDE exam went pretty good as well. I did, um, I wrote everything I wanted to write down. And even though I was forgetting some things, I was like still, like I remembered. How was your, how was your PDE exam? <laughs> I forgot a key point. Forgot a key point? I'm in the library studying. I'm going to be doing my commerce assessment and working on my English assessment. We got in a pretty good study session. I was able to start on my English assessment, which is really good. Um, I've gotten my ideas down and everything and I've started my introduction and my body paragraphs. Seth is doing a imaginative piece schizophrenia. on schizophrenia. <laughs> and then I'm doing a discursive on um, like scars and resilience and determination. <laughs> You have to recreate paintings on the, the, the stations of the cross. Well, let me let me show you. Ready, 
Alright, welcome back. I am done with today's school week, which feels great that I can actually get a good night's sleep in. I still have some stuff to do. I have an English and Commerce assessment coming up next week on Tuesday and Wednesday. So I'm going to be studying for those across the long weekend. Anyway, for the next hour or so, I'm going to be working on my English assessment. I want to get both my English and Commerce done by Friday night so that I have the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday to study for it and get feedback on it. So yeah, let's get on with that. All right, so it's 10 p.m. on the Thursday, which is going to bring us to a close for this week's vlog. I have been really studying hard these past few days, preparing for a lot of exams. The thing is, a lot of the exams are all the same. They're all extended response questions that I have to prepare for like a lot more than I would in the years before. So with it being my first year doing these kind of assessment tasks so often, you know, it's gonna take me some time trying to find how I should prepare for it and I guess that's what this week was really about. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me lose my mind for the past seven days but I'm trying to find the balance between you know having fun and studying which really I didn't have much time for myself these past few days but I have today um, and the long weekend to look forward to even though I'm still going to be revising for two assessments to come next week but yeah i hope you guys have or had a happy easter um whichever way you celebrate and i will see you guys in the next video take care bye bye